Now that I've made several videos about moving to Florida and sharing with you guys a bunch of different tips about living here, I've been seeing some negative people in the comments regarding Florida. And one thing that I never wanna do on this channel is make a negative video or put someone else down or make anyone feel like inferior, anything like that. There's enough negativity in the world and that's never the goal of any of my videos, guys. But that doesn't keep the comment trolls away. So that gave me the idea to make this video of who should not move to Florida. Because there are definitely a handful of people out there that should not come here. And it's gonna be kind of based on some of these comments that I've seen because there's some people out there that will just complain about anything. You know, you could put them in the Garden of Eden, they would find 20 things to complain about. But also I'm just gonna be talking about people that are maybe susceptible to certain things or have preferences that might not match your needs here in Florida. So let's check them out. First one is impatient people. If you are always in a hurry and you're that kind of person that like weaves in and out of traffic and always trying to get around everybody and, and you're trying to get somewhere in an extreme hurry, Florida's probably not for you for a lot of different reasons. Number one, the traffic in most of the major cities here in Florida is pretty bad. You're gonna be sitting in traffic and you're gonna be extremely stressed out every single day dealing with that. So that's the number one reason. But the other reason is it doesn't match the Florida lifestyle, okay? People come to Florida, you wanna feel relaxed, you wanna feel a low key vibe, and you want to feel like you can get there when you get there. And that's kind of the whole theme of Florida, if you ask me. So if that doesn't vibe with you, then you probably shouldn't move here. Now this one might sound a little obvious, and I would say that these people shouldn't move anywhere. Just stay where you are. But anyone who has a bad attitude or they want trouble, you know, people that are always on the lookout for trouble. We already have the Florida man stories here and all kinds of other crazy weird stuff happening. We don't need to add any more on top of that. So anybody that just likes to cause trouble, just stay where you are. Don't come to Florida. Who else shouldn't move here? Anyone who thinks that living in Florida is going to be like the state they used to live in. Because I can guarantee you it's not going to be. I haven't been to all 50 states, but I've been to a good amount of them, and none of them are like Florida. None of them are like Florida in the sense of the people that live here, in the sense of the weather, in the sense of the landscape, in the sense of the culture, especially like here in Miami, for example. I know the rest of Florida is not Miami, but living in Miami is like another country almost. So those are the kind of things I mean. If you think that you're gonna move to Florida and everything is gonna be exactly like it was back where you lived at home, first of all, I'm not sure why you would wanna move to begin with, but then also, I think that's a very unrealistic expectation. When you move somewhere new, you're gonna be experiencing a ton of new things so you need to move to Florida with an open mind or you probably just shouldn't move at all. Now I don't mean this one in a bad way, but anybody that has a skin condition. Obviously Florida is called the Sunshine State and we do get a lot of very strong sunshine here where the UV index is above 10, 11, 12 on a daily basis, especially in the summer. And if you have skin cancer or some other type of very sensitive skin condition, Florida is probably not gonna be the best place for you to live. I know that might be a little bit of a depressing thought, but it's the reality, and I just figured I would point that out. Anybody who has a big fear of bugs, snakes, alligators, anything like that, you know, it's not like you have alligators walking around the street, at least not where I live, probably in other areas of Florida. So you need to be on the lookout for that stuff. We do have snakes here. I've seen several snakes here in Miami Beach, and bugs are everywhere in Florida. So you just gotta be aware that that's part of daily life here in Florida. So if those kind of things freak you out, Florida's not for you. <laughs> Anybody who likes to spend a lot of time indoors, why would you wanna move to Florida? You can spend time indoors anywhere you live, to be honest. One of the reasons I moved to Florida was to get outside more, and that's one thing I just love about living down here, is that all year round is beautiful, and I can always go outside and enjoy the weather here, versus when I was living back in Illinois, you know, you got six months of long, cold winter, guys. And to me, that was depressing. But some people don't care, and they spend all of their time indoors anyways. And if you don't mind that lifestyle, then if I were you, you should just live in the cheapest place you could find because, you know, if you're not really planning on going anywhere or doing anything, then you're just going to be staying home. So save some money while you're at it. Don't move to Florida if you are a bad driver. We have a lot of bad drivers here as it is. 
and you almost cannot even go down one of the major highways anymore without passing an accident or getting stuck in traffic because of an accident. So if you are a bad driver, make sure you improve those skills before you come here. Now this one applies particularly to Miami. I saw somebody make a comment saying that Miami doesn't offer a good quality of life and I would beg to differ. My quality of life has gone up 20 times more than it was when I used to live in Illinois. And anybody who says otherwise either has never been here, has never lived here, or they just have a bad attitude and that's one of the other people that shouldn't live here anyways. Now, you also shouldn't move to Florida if you think that once you move here that your life is going to be a 24-7 vacation because that is not reality unless you're going to be retiring here or you're mega rich and you're just going to be living it up the party lifestyle and you can afford to just party all the time. But if you're just a regular person and you want to start your life over and come here just like I did, it's not going to be a 24-7 party, guys. It's not going to be a vacation all the time. You still have to work. You still got to pay bills. You still got to do the daily life stuff. And that does get in the way of enjoying all the things that Florida has to offer. So it's a lot different than when you just come here on vacation and spend a couple weeks and you're feeling like you're in heaven. So that's why I mentioned in this video right here about doing a trial run and living in the neighborhood that you're going to be living in before actually making the move because that's going to give you a solid idea of what it's like to actually live down here. You should not move to Florida if you are one of those people who thinks Florida is too expensive. I've seen this a lot in the comments and people that complain about how expensive it is here just shouldn't move here for a lot of different reasons. Kind of going back to the first point. If you have no ambition and you're lazy and you don't want better for yourself in life and you just are comfortable paying your $500 a month of rent, then just stay there. You don't need to move to Florida. But who should move to Florida? Somebody that wants to better their situation, somebody who doesn't mind working hard to get where they want in life, and somebody that really wants to improve their quality of life by being around all of the natural beauty that Florida has to offer and having access to all the world-class amenities we have here too. Definitely don't come here if you think you can't afford it and you just have this broke mentality because that's not gonna serve you well here. And to be honest, if that's you, you need to check yourself and you need to get your own mind right before you really do anything in life. It's gonna be very difficult to get somewhere in life with that sort of an attitude. You also shouldn't move to Florida if you think in your mind that it's just as congested and crazy here as New York City or Los Angeles, because it's not. I live in one of the biggest areas of Florida, in the Miami area, and I can tell you right now, it's not as congested here as it is in those areas, okay? And anybody that tells you otherwise doesn't live here. They just see stuff on TV, they watch other YouTube videos, and they just like to complain and make stupid comments. So. I'm telling you from my own firsthand experience that it's not as bad as those areas. Possibly one day it could be, but as of right now, it just isn't. Now I know that the vast majority of everybody who's out there watching my videos are awesome people because I have interacted with many of you in the comments and I really love all of the great things you've had to say about the videos and just the different things that you're learning from them and all of that stuff. So I know that a lot of the stuff that I said in this video doesn't apply to you, but you should be really happy about that and consider that a win and a good thing. And if you are one of my loyal viewers, I really appreciate that. Thank you so much for always watching all of my videos and supporting the channel. And from now on, when you see one of these loser comments, feel free to jump in and gang up on them and back me up. And hopefully these guys will just go away on their own once they see they're not welcome here anymore. If you guys enjoyed hanging out with me, make sure you check out some more of my videos right over here and I'll see you guys over there in that next video.